Alright fuckers, welcome back to the Schalke career mode. Now this is not how I normally start episodes. Normally we're in the, you know, the team screen. You're ready to start the next match. Well fuck it, I was messing about here 1st of January. Um, we did try and get Ozil a few months back. We did agree with Arsenal, but we just never got round to agreeing with Ozil, agreeing the contract. So i just seen it and I went in and I clicked approach to sign and we didn't have to go through any of the negotiations with Arsenal. Come straight to Ozil. So, um... I don't, I don't know if it's because he's on the last year of his deal. I don't know if that's why. I don't know if we've just if we've already agreed to the way Arsenal. I don't know if we are trying to like sign him here and then we get him next time. I don't know, but uh, things look fucking promising. We've agreed a deal. He only he wants 170 wage. He's currently on so it's 60,000 less. He wants a signing bonus of 2.6 appearance fee of 5 million. I think we can make all that happen. We're gonna try and get it a little bit cheaper, but holy fucking shit, man! What a way to start the episode. Looks like we could be getting mess it bloody Ozil. Like that's just absolutely fantastic, man. I'd fucking give my left nut to sign mess it Ozil. You know what I mean? So this is like a this is like a dream come true, but we'll, we'll we'll see. Like it's not a done deal yet. We just. Trying to, I'm trying to just bargain him down a wee bit. I want as much money as possible for all our signings. But I think also, man, what a star player that would be. 88 way to come into the Schalke team. It'd be absolutely fantastic. Um, you know what? He's not going to budge. He's, he's definitely not going to budge on that unless I go a wee bit more. You know what? We'll go the signing bonus. We'll go 2.4. And then the edit that bonus, we'll go, go to, we'll go 4 mil. I mean, I think that's been fair. I've still offered him quite a high amount. We've just took about what about 1.2 million off it in total. That's a fair offer. We can agree on the wage. We'll be looking forward to same bonus on. Fuck me. So again, I've just you know what, guys. Fuck it. You don't get this opportunity very often. I'm gonna go ahead and accept that. Oh my god, Mesa! Look at that. We're shaking the fucking hand. They mess it also, man. Bloody hell, who cares if you're the Muslim? Fuck it, man. Mesa also is joining Schalke. Uh, we've agreed pre contract terms with Mesa also. He will join the team as soon as the transfer window opens. So it's not, it's not, I don't think he's joining us this transfer window. It looks like he will be joining us in the next transfer window, which you know what I mean? It's maybe a bit puts a bit of a downer on it. But, I mean, we've still got Ozil. We're going to have him for Season 2. Uh, we're also going to have Huedza back on loan. For uh, Huedza back on loan for Juventus. So, I mean, we could be looking good for uh, for Season 2. But we will need a Champions League squad capable if we do qualify for the Champions League. And Mesa Ozil is certainly that. He is a Champions League player. Delighted, man, to sign Mesa Ozil. Martin's a lot. He's wanted me to try and sign him. He's Portuguese. We've just took over the Portugal manager job. Let's go ahead and try and do it. Uh, we can't afford paying the release costs for this player, and the club isn't willing to let him go. So, well, straight away, it kind of just means that we can't get him, unfortunately. Which is a joke. We don't have 48.4 million. Fucking hell. I was looking at a bunch of young players that we can try and bring in, because we do need depth, man. I, I would love to go and uh, sign, you know, the big money players. We've got about, what, 27 million left. It'd be great if we could go and spend that 27 million on one player. But I think, realistically, we need to bring in a few faces. So, I've shortlisted some of these young guys. We've got Justin Clyde there, obviously. You know, Fowler, Patrick, uh, legend. We've got Ryan Sessinog, English player, playing for Fulham, 17. We've got Ragnar Ake, Sparta Rotterdam player, 19. We've got Alexander Hack, he's 24, plays for Mines. And we've got Filiena, 22, playing for Feyenoord. I'm going to go ahead and try and sign all these and we'll see how we get on. Alright guys, so there you go. We've got some amazing news. We've managed to sign Justin Cliver and Ryan Sessinog. Great to see them. In a Schalke shirt. Uh, fantastic. Got them relatively cheap as well. I think Cliver we got for 10 mil. Ryan Sessinon we got for 1.5. So delighted to make those signs. Sessinon actually on a higher weekly wage than uh, Cliver, even though he cost 8.5 million less. So just mental to show you when you come from England that he was on such a high wage that he, no, that's what he wanted. So the money in England's absolutely unbelievable. But delighted to make those two young signings. I was also looking at the other players, Filiana, Hack and Aki. We don't really know enough about them yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let them scout a bit more and then we'll maybe try and send them later on in the uh, you know, transfer window. I was looking at this guy, Dio Apicano, though. I might go ahead and see if we can try and sign him. We've had a transfer offer for Briel and Bolo, and uh, there's just no way we're going to be looking to sign this. I don't want to let any players go, to be honest. Like I said, the squad is really thin at the moment, so I'm looking to keep everybody in. Especially in Bolo, he's like 
you know, one of our better players. He's only 20 years old. This guy is uh, definitely a star, future star, so we're just going to be ahead and be rejecting that offer. It's not even a good offer, 18.5 so happen. Fucking, you know, need to dig a lot deeper into those stingy, miserable pockets if you want Mbolo. We've had a transfer offer for Conor Belanca. 10.9 million for Leverkusen. There's no way I'm going to accept that. That will be getting absolutely rejected. And unfortunately, there's been a transfer offer from Everton. They're uh, currently in negotiations with Everton. I never got the option to accept it or reject it. I think it's just he's got six months remaining. So kind of similar how to we have signed Ozil. Uh, teams can come in and get Naldo on a free contract for next year. So I'll be gutted if we do lose him. I have offered him a one-year extension. He's yet to sign it. Maybe he doesn't want to sign it. He could be leaving us. I'll be I, Like I said, I really don't want it to happen. But um, there's not a lot we can do about it. Everyone are currently negotiating with him. We just need to hope that he chooses us. He'll be playing in a blue kit next season. Just depends what shade of blue and which country will that blue be in. But up next, we do have an away tie against Red Bull Lisbig. Look at that, we're down in 11th now, we have to win, our form recently has been terrible. This is a massive game and it's, we need to make sure that we turn up. It's going to be Balotelli on his Schalke debut, man, getting this kick off. I cannot wait for this. Impression they have to make on your debut, son, is it? Shit, it's through to Bruma. Oh, and LaFonte making his first save, that's what we want to see. Piss poor save. <laughs> Chance like would have been absolutely raging if he hadn't saved it. But and Mbolo, this is good play here. I like this, it's Balotelli. Still Balotelli going. Oh, he's turned, it's Balotelli. Lays it off to Wilshere, Wilshere now. Wilshere with a turn of his own. It's Caliguri looking for Koki to make the run. Koki does make the run. This is a chance now, it's going to be Koki. Koki whips in back post, Conor Belanca, oh, header off the bar, fuck me. What a chance, so close. Koki trying to play it back out wide to Caliguri for the cross in, but Lesbic have cleared it. But we can attack once more with Nastasic. And Bolo, man, just finding hard to break this team down. Walshia. Bentaleb. Oh, it's Bentaleb, he's cut inside. Bentaleb shoots the distance and forces a save from the keeper, Bernardo. In the wing, looking for. Men in the middle, perhaps. Can he get across? He cuts back. He crosses it in. It's going to fall to. Ne oh my god, it's Koki. Caliguri. Caliguri with a shot. Shoots. Straight at the keeper. And again, it's Gulasi there. Putting it out for the corner kick. Colin Blanca now crossing it in. Oh my god, how many deflections is this going to take? It's just ping pong in here. It's Caliguri. Whipped in back post. It's diving ahead of Doesn't he get to this? Koke now, another chance, it's going to be Koke, can he beat his man, he has beat his man, it's Koke, back, oh it's a decent post, a decent post, decent cross there, right into that six yard area and just nobody could go on the end of it unfortunately, but this is a much better response, we've been disappointing lately, I mean I'm not even going to, Lafonte and Balotelli haven't really did anything if I'm being completely honest, I think it's just been a good uh, team response from you know those previous four or five poor games, kind of blanking out with the corner. So at the end, the Stasic tries to get the head on it. He does, but can't direct the goal towards Conor Blanca. Picking the ball up, referee is blowing the whistle. I think Conor Blanca offside there, coming back to the corner perhaps. Yeah, and that's all I do. Look, we've dominated 70% possession to their 30, five shots to their two, but just haven't found the breakthrough goal yet. But I'm confident if we keep that up, it will come. Let's pick have been really poor. Let's be honest. Look at that 67% pass accuracy. It's very rare you see the AI right down at 67 but you know what is what it is we've got to take advantage hopefully we can do it in the second half Bolo Caliguri heavy touch there but he gets past his man it's Caliguri he's got Balotelli in the box back post to the corner Blanca yeah, and he just I mean that is absolutely shite we've just unlocked an achievement but that isn't really going to fucking make my day man would have made my day as if Conor Blanca found the back of the net but Caliguri, Conor Blanca, Conor Blanca now beating his men for pace here, Conor Blanca back post, it's Mbolo and his header is over, fuck me, oh, we're creating chances left, right and centre but we're just no burying them, 
And now we could be in trouble. We are in trouble with Coulson. Shit. Fucking hell, I do not know how. Alright, last couple of minutes they've had, had to, a couple of chances on the counter and they've just fucking missed them all. Thankfully. The whip then is cleared away, it's into the hands of Adam Lafonte and now can we find it? Can he find Balotelli? He's almost, I mean he has I think. Bal oh Balotelli, what a pass that can the two new men combine? He's been brought down. Oh you cheating bastard, look at that, absolutely hacked me there. That was a penalty and it wasn't a given. Why always me? Because it's because you're black, that's why it is man, fucking racism here. Stamp out racism, but well, obviously it's not been stamped out in Germany. Woeful decision there. Block the cleared away, it's Harat, Kemaya. Oh, it's a poor touch, man. I was going to let it rip there, but. Meyer gets a corner out of this. Only two minutes added on. This is probably going to be the last effort of this match. Corner blanket, whipping it in. It's going to fall to Balotelli. Oh my god, it's Mario, man! Fucking Mario, why always me? I love you, I could get fucking sick of stuck your big 12 inch black cock, man. I'd get down on my hands and knees and I'd get a good fucking licking, mate. I'm telling you, what a goal that is. I've like got Mario in the 91st minute, man, on his debut. Does it get any better than that? Right into the top hand corner, look at that, boom. Keeper, absolutely no chance. That is fan fucking fantastic. And, eh. Uh, I cannot believe that, man. Happy bloody days. Uh, fucking Big Mario, eh? <laughs> That's why we signed him. People think that he's not going to come good. Oh, why are you signing him? That's why I signed him, man. That's why I did it. Right? Big Mario. Legend. Fucking give him the Ballon d'Or for that alone. So there you go, guys. That is the full time whistle. And we've came out to serve the winners. Let's big. Yes, to their credit, they did perform better in the second half. But still, overall, we were by far the better team. And I think we proved that. Corner Blanca there getting man of the match with a goal assist. Uh, we'll be honest, Balotelli, he didn't really do a lot apart from that goal. But I mean, fuck it, I don't give a shit. See the rest of his, his, the rest of his career. He can play absolute shite. See as long as he scores me the winning goal. That is all I care about. Um, who else had it? Nastasic had a decent game at centre-back. Lafonte, again, didn't have much to do. I mean, oh, the, Les, Les Pig did create some good chances towards the end. But they were, none of them were on target, so... Lafonte, like I said, didn't have much to do. Can't really judge him, can we? But either way, it's a win, man. We need it that. We've got it, and hopefully it moves us up the league table and it stops the rot more. Fuck, look at that. Breaking news. PSG sign David Sphere. Um, do those cunts have to sign everybody? Greedy shites, man. Let some other team sign somebody, for God's sake. Right, but anyway, talk about greedy. Balotelli was greedy that last match. Just took the ball, slammed it into the back of the net. Slam dunk, good night, three points, and that now puts us back into the top half of the table. We're ninth on 26 points, five points off of Cologne, who are in fourth. But uh, fortunately for us, we do seem to have a game in hand against most of the teams above us that are in those positions. So if we win it, we'll go on to 29 points, and we'll only be three points off second placed Mongloden back. So definitely weird the way that's happened. Look at Dortmund. Again, they've won another match, so they're only a point behind us, albeit we do have a given hand, but I mean, at this stage of the season, would you really rule Dortmund out of getting into that top four? I wouldn't. I do think they're going to make a miraculous comeback, but looking at Red Bull this big, they were really poor against us. They're in the uh, relegation playoffs at the moment, I don't see them doing much better than that. You're looking at Freiburg, Freiburg, they look like they're fucked, they're down. Um, they got... Wolfsburg underperforming. Um, this is a very it's a wide open uh, Bundesliga. The only thing we can probably say for sure is Bayern Munich are going to win the title and uh, Freiburg are going to go down. Apart from that, guys, it's fucking wide open. Who knows what's going to happen? But that's going to do it for this episode. Now, remember, guys, comment down below. Who do you want me to try and sign? We've still got half the transfer window to go, so. I mean, if you let me know down below, I'll try my best to sign it. But just remember, we don't have a huge amount of funds left. We've maybe got about 15 mil left about Something like that, you know, and a decent amount of wage to spend. So, come on, let's be realistic here. Don't be trying to get me to sign players that are worth 40, 50 million. Because we just don't have the funds available. If there's any decent players that you want me to try and sign, I will try my best to do it. But, you know, if not, don't be asking me to sign like Neymar or um, Draxler, Sanchez. Pogba, it's not going to happen, you know what I mean? 
But anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. Big Mario Balotelli. He got us the win. He saved our blushes. Willie, how will he go on the next time against Hanover? You're going to have to tune in to find out. But anyway, thanks for watching. And until next time, why always him? Because he's a fucking legend. 91st minute winner. Get it, Mario, son. Get it. Peace.